Hi, I'm Evan Kirk of the Minnesota Swarm, and this is today's YBL Tip of the Day, presented by Summit Orthopedics. Today's YBL Tip of the Day is cutting off your angles and taking outside shots. Yeah, we're just going to do a shot from each, like, five spots. Yeah, five points. And I'm going to say, like, do the angles in each spot and then coming out on outside shots. This is typically where you're going to see the shots from, um, the five points, like I said in the last video in the YBL. So if there's a shot from low, you want to hug your pipe, be there. Like I said, on an outside shot, you want to step out and cut off that angle, as well as the top, step out. And then you want to back up, hold your pipe, and be there for that corner shot. So usually they're going to see a corner shot. You want to hug your pipe below. And again, for an outside shot, you want to step out and cut off your angle. This is your two spot. You want to come out, attack the shooter, and cut off the angle. This is the hardest shot because you have all four corners. So what you want to do is step out, cut off that angle as much as possible, and get as big as you can. This is your four spot, so again, it's an outside shot. You want to step out and cut down that angle. This is your five spot. It's a low like your one spot, so you want to stay tight and low right to your pipe. Okay, so if you get an inside shot, um, if he's a righty, depending on their hand, if he's a righty coming down inside, you want to stay low, hold your pipe. More often than not, they're going to shoot at the area that is open, so therefore you're going to take that away if they're coming inside. Jordan McIntosh is a right-handed player, so you want to stay on the right side of the floor and hug your pipe until he comes across the middle, and therefore he's going to shoot where that open spot is, and then you take that away. So get as big as you can when you're inside and cover that position up. Although it's not a right-handed player, it's a left-handed player. It's uh, Ryan Banesh. He is pretty good at shooting, so when there's an open spot, more or less, he's going to take that. So again, you want to hug your pipe in tight, stay nice and low. Then when he comes across the crease, he's going to shoot at that, you try and take that away. It's time for another quick tip from Summit Orthopedics, the official orthopedic provider for the Swarm. Hey lacrosse fans, thumbs up. Did you know that thumb injuries and fractures are common for lacrosse? Help avoiding these injuries by taping the tip of your thumb or wearing a small splint to protect from impact. Do you have a question for our Swarm team doc or athletic trainer? Visit Summit Orthopedics Facebook page and post your question. And if you do get injured, go to OrthoQuick, providing walk-in sports injury care seven days a week. If you're experiencing pain or weakness, which is different than just being sore, it's not the time to suck it up and keep playing. When you play through pain, the odds are there's an injury and you're only making it worse and creating more problems for yourself down the road. Listen to pain, modify your activity, and if it persists, get checked out by your trainer. Be smart about this. Take care of any injury right away so you can get back as soon and as safely as possible and avoid creating a long-term problem.